The standard ROM that I run on all of my Xiaomi devices and kind of devices in general is Xiaomi EU. And generally it's Xiaomi EU Weekly. Sometimes it is the stable version of it. But it's almost a mandatory thing for me that if I'm gonna get a Xiaomi device, I want no ads, I want no China bloatware, and more importantly than not, I want my notifications and my overall device to just be as minimalistic and free of crap that I don't use as possible. Now I've been running the Xiaomi EU ROM on my Poco F2 Pro, Redmi K30 Pro now, for over a month or so, effectively making this a Poco F2 Pro because it is a global version of Xiaomi MIUI. If you guys didn't know, Xiaomi EU has been made, like they've been making the Xiaomi EU ROM now for eight years, which is only like two and a half years, two years less than the very first MIUI. So Xiaomi EU is very much a global, uh, a global firmware for the device. But I wanted to hear your side of this. So on my newest, uh, they're the newest ROM I should say that I have on my Redmi K20 Pro is the global official ROM. Uh, this is the global official ROM essentially from the Xiaomi Mi 9T or Redmi K20 Pro uh, Indian variant of the device. But um, this is official global firmware that everyone would have and I wanted to go through on both devices and see what differences there are. Right, the global, uh, the global official stable software uh, is based on the global ROM. Xiaomi EU, the version that I'm running is based on the weekly China beta ROM. The stable version of Xiaomi EU is based on the China stable ROM that is available uh, obviously in China. Now I went through both of these devices. I went down the list of features. I tried to explore different things and the differences that I found between Xiaomi EU and the global firmware were really quite minuscule and almost not worth talking about. Before I go in and show you guys what these differences are, did you know that 94.6% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel? Change that and smash the subscribe button. Okay guys, I have global stable here on the K20 Pro. I have Xiaomi EU Weekly. Uh, on the K30 Pro, AKA the Poco F2 Pro. And as a bonus thing at the end of the video, we're gonna go and install Poco Launcher so you guys can see what essentially the Poco F2 is and what you can expect with the Poco F2 Pro because as you guys are gonna see, a lot of this experience is identical across both devices. Now the first thing I wanna draw attention to and the first difference that we have is the minus one screen on the global does not have the option for the Google feed. If we go into the home screen settings, we have App Vault and that is it. So we do not have the option to have the Google minus one home screen like I have here on my Poco F2 Pro on Xiaomi EU. That might be a deal killer for some. I really like the Google feed. The next is the home screen dimensions. So there is a certain amount of customizability that we have here on the Poco F2 Pro running the Xiaomi EU. For the default launcher, here we'll go back to the home screen launcher. And on the minus one, we have the uh, Google Discover tab. And that's what I have on my device right here. Now, as you guys can see on Xiaomi EU, we have all kinds of options for home screen dimensions. On official, we only have two options, which mine looks a little bit messy, to be honest with you guys. Um, and having it with the official way, it cleans up all of the issues that I have with text on the bottom. But that's not really a colossal difference. The next one is that the camera options are a little bit different. Now, if we look at the camera on the official MIUI 12, you can see that we have the old version of the Xiaomi camera app. The new version of the Xiaomi camera app is gonna be coming with this very iPhone-like in look. 
option where we can go ahead and customize this. Now I have a video all about the new camera app on the Poco F2 Pro. Uh, it's eventually gonna be rolling out with the stable firmware and link to that video right here. Another key issue that we have on the Poco F2 Pro running Xiaomi EU versus the stock uh, like global firmware. So language on EU has all uh, of the very specific European languages that are ported onto it. Um, I'm not quite familiar with what all of the languages are, to be honest, because I speak American English. But just to show you guys, languages and input, I guess there would be a higher number of versions of this language on the Xiaomi EU as opposed to the official uh, firmware, I guess. Um, but that's been one of the reasons that Xiaomi EU has been getting made for eight years now. Maybe it might be, have be more than that at this point. The next thing to notice is advertising removal. Now, this is something that I've never even noticed because I've never even used uh, the stock apps like this, but on the global one, we do have a certain amount of advertising uh, that comes in the built-in apps. I know there's supposed to be some historically uh, in the file explorer, um, but I haven't seen it pop up. I just know that it exists. Another key difference between the global official and Xiaomi EU is messaging. For the official global firmware, we have the stock Google Messages app. For the Xiaomi EU, we have the Xiaomi uh, text messaging app, which gives us uh, the ability to have me message, which essentially uh, is kind of like iMessage. I've only used it once in testing with my ex-girlfriend when she had a Xiaomi device. Now the last and final difference is just extra tweaks that you can do in, on the device, uh, such as the buttons. There's an option on Xiaomi EU so that you cannot power the device unless you can unlock device, which would be really, really helpful if your phone gets stolen and you wanna track it down. Since essentially the people stealing your device would have no ability to go ahead and power it off and you could eventually find it. Now showing you guys the Poco launcher because essentially this is going to be the firmware on the Poco F1. Uh, you're gonna have the combination of these apps with this launcher. Uh, Poco F1 has only the app vault. There is no Google feed, um, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, with the Poco launcher, you do get some tweaks and some things that you can do with it, but most of the stuff that comes on the Poco launcher is in fact already present on the global firmware. So as you guys can see, the Redmi K30 Pro with Xiaomi EU is essentially an identical user experience to the global version that you guys are all going to be getting. If not identical, possibly even a little bit better of an experience since the bloatware has been taken out of the device and it's been streamlined for the non-Chinese market. You still get all of the updates, you still get all of the active development. Since Xiaomi is so active with developing their OS, for the Chinese market, you get the benefit of all of that development with essentially all of the benefit of having the official global ROM. And if you stick to the stable versions of this ROM on your device, then you are going to have a relatively flawless experience with a lot of little tweaks, no bloatware, no advertising, and let's take it up top. As you guys could see, the differences between the official global stable version and Xiaomi EU, um, specifically even the stable version of it, are really few and far between. The reality is that Xiaomi EU has gone out of their way to prioritize European users while giving you a slight extra layer of customizability on top of it. Um, those tweaks almost kind of remind me of some of the tweaks that Oxygen OS makes to stock Android, but this is tweaks to MIUI, which is very much, it's very similar to stock Android at this point. 
overall, if we're talking about actual user experience and user interface with the device, very little has changed between global official and EU. I would say that if you're on the global official, there's no reason necessarily to get EU unless you want to have advertising free experience on the device or you need those 27 languages that Xiaomi EU brings. If you guys are curious about the process of unlocking your bootloader or you're curious about like Xiaomi EU ROMs, a walkthrough of the ROM even, I'll go ahead and put those videos right here for you guys. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, it goes a long way in supporting me. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Stay safe.